Hello my dear students, in this lecture we are going to see one numerical on fillet weld. Now this numerical is a combination of parallel as well as tra transverse fillet weld. Now question is, the plate 75 mm wide and 10 mm thickness is joined with another steel plate by means of single transverse and double parallel fillet weld as shown in figure. Now, here in question, the width of plate is given 75 mm and thickness S yes, is given 10 mm. Now, here they are saying that there is one transverse fillet weld. See here, this fillet weld is perpendicular to load, therefore, this is a transverse fillet weld. And here, this is parallel and this is also parallel to the fillet weld. Uh, sorry, force, therefore, it is a parallel fillet weld. Right, there are two parallel fillet welds of length L each. And there is one transverse fillet weld of length 75, right? And again, the joint is subjected to maximum tensile force of 55 kN. Now here, this total, that is both parallel plus one transverse, they together can take maximum tensile load of 55 kN, which is nothing but 55 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Again, the permissible tensile and shear stresses in the weld material are 70 and 50 Newton per mm square respectively. Now the maximum value of tensile stress is 70 Newton per mm square and maximum value of shear stress is equal to 50 Newton per mm square. This is a given data. Right. Again, determine the required length of each parallel fillet weld. Now here our target is to find length of each parallel fillet weld. Now my dear students, can you imagine here this total load 55 kN, this total load P is shared by transverse fillet weld as well as parallel fillet weld. Now let us assume, let us assume this transverse fillet weld shares load P1 and both parallel fillet weld shares load P2. Right. Now here what we are saying P1 is load shared by transverse fillet weld. Transverse fillet weld. Right. And P2 is load shared by both parallel, both parallel fillet weld. Now, total load is equal to load shared by transverse plus load shared by parallel. We can say like this. Now, one by one, to find for transverse and parallel, we have formulas. Now, this P1, we can say load shared by transverse fillet weld is equal to, the formula is 0 0.707 into S into length of transverse fillet weld. Let's, let us say L1. Now, L1 is here. If I say L1 is the length of transverse fillet weld, L1 is, L1 is 75 mm. In numerical, 75 mm is the length of transverse fillet weld into transverse means perpendicular. Perpendicular means tensile stress. Therefore, we have to consider sigma t over here. Stress into area into sigma t. This will be the load shared by transverse fillet weld. And load shared by parallel fillet weld P2 will be equal to 0 0.707 into S into L. Now, this L is nothing but length of parallel fillet weld here, length of parallel fillet weld into shear stress because parallel fillet weld is subjected to shear stresses. But here, there are two parallel fillet welds. Therefore, we have to multiply with two. For this formula, we have to multiply with two. Right. This is P1 and P2. Now, let us solve for P1 and P2. Now, first of all, find P1 and P2. Then, we will find length. Right. Let us solve this. Therefore, we can say P is equal to P1 plus P2. Therefore, P is equal to P1 is nothing but 0 0.707 into S into L1 into sigma t plus P2 is nothing but 0 0.707 into S into L into tau into 2. Put the values. Here P is given 55 kN. 55 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to 0 0.707 into thickness of fillet weld is sorry, thickness of the weld is 10 into length of transverse fillet weld is 75, sigma t is given 70 plus 0 0.707 into thickness of weld is 10 into length of parallel fillet weld is unknown into shear stress is 50 into 2. Now, this term, here this term is called load shared by, load shared by transverse fillet weld, transverse fillet weld. And here, this term is load shared by 
parallel fillet weld parallel fillet weld right now put the values and solve here in this total equation see all are known only l is unknown in this total equation only l is unknown therefore solve for l and find this value for l and you will find this l equal to if you calculate 25.29 mm this answer you will get and this is your answer for your question thank you dear students in next lecture we will see one more numerical on fillet weld